Clichés or printing plates are separated into two main categories. There are UV exposure plates that use water or chemicals to etch the design into the plate. And then there are laser plates. In this video, I will describe the differences so you can zero in on the perfect plate for your application. I will separate the video below by chapter so you can quickly search to the perfect plate option if you already have an idea on what style of plate you would like to use. The first thing to keep in mind is different machines require different size plates. These sizes correspond to the size of the ink cup and the number of colors being printed at one time. Plate prices are based on size, so smaller plates cost less than larger plates. Our professional series and universal series machinery allow multiple artworks to be placed on one cliche to speed up registration, saving up to an hour or more of setup time for multicolor print jobs. These machines also have the ability to use smaller plates based on the specific job, so both time and money is saved. The second thing to point out is having holes punched in the plate, which allows the most precise registration and provides the opportunity to use a lower cost laser plate, potentially saving companies thousands of dollars per year over the lower quality Asian manufactured pad printers that use frustrating clamping mechanisms, which not only result in having to use more expensive plate material, but also even can accordion the plate, potentially damaging ink cups, rings, and the machine itself. More on that later. Plate material is commonly made in Europe, Japan, and China. European plates have the highest quality, lowest problems, and are the only plates that can really be used with water-based inks, as they have the highest consistency and detail, lowest part-to-part -part variation, most consistent exposure times, and produce the best prints. We only offer plate material from European manufacturers for this reason. Typically, the numbers associated with the plate refer to the thickness of the polymer layer or the thickness of the overall plate. As mentioned, there are two categories we will discuss, UV exposure or chemical A etched plates and then laser plates. UV exposure plates typically take 30 to 45 minutes to create, or laser plates take much less time and can be made in seconds or minutes depending on image size. The first UV plates we will discuss are water wash plates. These plates use a UV exposure process and water to essentially wash away a portion of the polymer layer to create a recessed image in the plate. I will link to the full process of how to make these plates on the screen here. These plates vary in color, reflecting the quality, manufacturer, and life of the plate. Our WS43 plate here is our most popular water wash plate. It is orange in color and lasts around 15,000 prints. This is a great blend of price, quality, and lifespan. These plates can use a roster film of 250 lines per inch, meaning great detail can be achieved with this plate. There are other plates in the water wash category, but most customers prefer this plate for the cost versus quality and lifespan. The next UV etched plate is the ST52 plate. This is an alcohol wash plate that is more red in color. These plates have a slightly thicker polymer top than the water wash WS43 plate and can last around 30,000 prints. These plates take slightly longer to expose, which allow greater control in depth, a potentially deeper etch, and can use roster film up to 300 lines per inch, which means even greater detail. These plates are generally twice the cost of WS43 plates, but offer fine detail and are great for small images. The next plates that use chemicals and exposure units are thin steel plates. These plates vary in thickness from 0.25 to 0.5 millimeters in thickness. These plates generally allow very great detail, but also great control over the depth since they use acid baths to erode the image instead of water or alcohol in a development process. I will link to how these are made on the screen here. These plates typically last about 100,000 prints. For longer life cycles, thick steel at 10 millimeters, thick, and even ceramic plates are available that can allow great depth control in very long life cycles at 1 million and 10 million or more prints respectively. The ceramic plates use a laser to etch the image, which brings us into the laser plates. The first laser plate we will discuss is our CO2 LP plate. This is a plate that is lower priced and allows a CO2 laser to be used to etch an image in the plate. 
It is similar in color to the WS43 plate and lasts about the same life at 15,000 prints. The second laser plate is the COL40 plate, which has a black polymer top and a yellow layer behind it to indicate the appropriate depth. This plate cannot achieve the level of accuracy as other laser plates, but some prefer it for the ease of use. It can be used with a fiber or CO2 laser system. The COL40 lasts about 20,000 prints. All of the plates, with the exception of the ceramic plate, have a metal back that is magnetic. The final plate we will discuss is TTN's own YL50 plate. The YL50 comes in two variants, one with a metal backer already attached and one without. The one without the metal backer simply requires a thin steel backer plate be placed between the YL50 and the base plate. This metal back does not need to be removed, but needs to remain clean. The benefit of this is that you are only buying the aluminum part of the plate and reusing the steel base, making the YL50 plate low cost with excellent control of image quality and detail. It works with a minimum of 30 watt fiber laser like our TTN Cliché laser, which I will link to on the screen here. This is where the benefit of pins come in handy. Pins allow the magnetic backer and YL50 to act as one plate even though they are separated. If your machine has a clamping system, this type of plate cannot be used. The YL50 has a life of 35,000 prints on the top premium side and 10,000 prints on the non-premium side if smaller images are used. The benefit of this plate is that life of the plate is great, multiple prints are excellent, but the plate uses minimal metal material. And the only engraved part is aluminum, which can be fully recycled. Since only the top of the plate is replaced, it is one of the lowest cost in the market, saving many dollars per plate over competitors' products, especially when compared to machines that use clamps. If your machine uses a clamping system, you can experience the same great benefits of the YL50 on the top layer, but you will need to integrate the metal back into the plate. This plate is called the YL50 SB, which indicates steel back. Competitors that offer clamping style machines offer a similar metal-backed laser plate, but the difference is that the YL50 product is excellent with near zero undulations, allowing excellent image retention. This is also one of the only plates that can be used with the new Maquapod water-based ink from Marabou. Finally, when deciding on plates, it might be just as important to you as it is to us to consider our environment. The UV and chemical etch processes use chemicals and release microplastics into the environment. Laser plates are the greenest way to manufacture printing plates. Requiring the least amount of energy, they are the fastest to make and can be fully recyclable. They do not release chemicals into the environment. For further questions on plates, don't hesitate to reach out to us to describe your product and requirements so we can guide you in the decision-making process. Also, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, or if you are on Instagram, follow, like, and comment. As always, thanks for watching.